What's left of the business still smoldering tonight, and there are even still some hot spots. The store was open at the time the fire started, but customers managed to escape without injury. The billowing smoke could be seen for miles. And at the epicenter, an inferno, the flames relentless and consuming. Racing through the building, collapsing the roof. It was really windy, and when the, when the windows shot out, I mean, our windows here, I was standing by the front, they were hot. Like, it was, it was the biggest fire I've seen. I've seen some big ones. Eddie Zipperstein's auto body shop is next door and across the street from what's left of JoJo's Discount Warehouse, where the fire started around noon. The general store at Lawrence and Whipple sold a variety of items, including furniture and mattresses, providing plenty of fuel for the fire. Highly flammable. See, the owner was inside, but they got out right away, so no injury, no civilian injuries whatsoever. We have a wall collapse on side C. All companies are cleared out. The building, a total loss, but firefighters able to keep the flames from spreading to adjacent businesses. I was burning. watching that fire come across. I'm like, I hope it doesn't jump to our building. The firefighters came up on top and were spraying across to try to stop the fire. This is the fourth major fire in Albany Park in the last four weeks. Last month, this massive blaze destroyed the Twisted Hippo Brew Pub, a gym, and an apartment building. But the fire department says there's no indication any of the fires are connected. The cause of this fire still under investigation. The witnesses initially reported seeing flames in an upper floor storage area. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.